In this video, you'll see a demonstration of how to do a sure screen rapid lateral flow test on yourself and on a child or on someone else. Many people with COVID-19 have mild or even no symptoms, but can still spread the virus. This self-test kit is a swab for the nose only. The test takes 10 minutes to give a result. Do not leave the test to develop for longer than 20 minutes as the test may give a false reading. Make sure you read the instructions that come in your kit first, as this test may be different from those you have used before. Failure to follow instructions may lead to an incorrect result. Before you do the test, make sure you do the following. Immediately before performing the test, clear, clean and dry a flat surface to put the home test kit on. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. Check test kit contents. Run one test at a time. You will need the following for each test you do. A sterile swab inside sealed wrapper. A test cassette in a sealed pouch. An extraction tube. An extraction buffer sachet. A plastic waste bag. An extraction tube holder. There should be enough supplies for seven tests. Make sure that nothing is damaged or broken before undertaking the test. Check the expiry date on the outer box. If you notice anything is damaged, broken, missing, do not use it. And if you wish to provide feedback on this, please call 119. Take the test cassette out of the sealed pouch and place it onto the cleaned flat surface. Place the extraction tube in the extraction tube holder. Keeping away from your face, carefully twist or snap open the extraction buffer sachet, being careful not to spill any of the fluid. Now open the extraction tube and pour in all the fluid. Gently blow your nose into a tissue. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds again, using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. Find the sterile swab in the sealed wrapper. Identify the soft, fabric tip of the swab. Peel open the swab package and gently take out the swab. Never touch the fabric tip of the swab with your hands or touch any surfaces. Now it's time to take your swabs. Please ensure all nose piercings or similar jewellery are removed prior to swabbing. First nostril. Place the fabric tip of the swab just inside one nostril, approximately one and a half centimetres up. Gently wipe the swab around the inside of your nostril in a circular motion five times for at least five seconds. Ensure there's good contact between the fabric tip of the swab and the inside of the nostril. No force is needed and you do not have to push far into your nostril. Second nostril. Use the same swab and repeat the process in the second nostril. If you experience a nosebleed during the swabbing, please stop swabbing. The swab cannot be tested. It is recommended to consult your doctor if bleeding persists. Now I'm going to show you how to test a child or someone else. Children under 12 years old should be tested by an adult. Adolescents between the ages of 12 to 17 can self-test and report with adult supervision. However, the adult may conduct the test if preferred or necessary. If you are testing a child or someone else, help them blow their nose if necessary. And ensure you both wash your hands for 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer. First nostril. Place the fabric tip of the swab just inside one nostril of the child or the person you are testing. Gently wipe the swab around the inside of their nostril in a circular motion five times for at least five seconds. No force is needed and you do not have to push far into the nostril. Make sure there's good contact between the fabric tip of the swab and the inside of the first nostril. Second nostril. Use the same swab and repeat the process in the second nostril. Now it's time to process the swab sample. Pick up the extraction tube and place the swab with the sample into the extraction tube. Pinch the extraction tube together using your fingers while rotating the swab around the tube for at least 10 seconds. Slightly lift the nasal swab, then break the swab on the break point position. 
Leave the swab head in the extraction tube. Place swab handle into the waste bag. Fit the dropper cap tightly onto the extraction tube. Ensure the test cassette is on a clean and flat surface. Gently squeeze the extraction tube to place three drops of fluid onto the sample well on the test cassette. Set a timer and wait 10 minutes to read your result. Do not leave the test to develop for longer than 20 minutes as the test may give a false reading. This test may be different from those you have used before. Find the result window and look carefully for the lines in the window. The presence of two lines, a control line C and a test line T, even a faint line within the result window indicates the test is positive. The presence of only a control line C within the result window indicates the test is negative. If the control line C is not visible within the result window after performing the test, the result is considered void. If you get a void result, perform a new test. If you get a positive result, it is likely you are infected with coronavirus and risk infecting others. If you get a negative result, it is likely you were not infectious at the time the test was taken. A negative test result, however, is not a guarantee that you do not have coronavirus. If you test negative, you should continue to follow national and local rules and guidelines. If you get a void result, this means that the test has not run correctly. You need to take another test. Use a new test kit, but do not reuse any of the components from the test you have just done. You should report negative, positive and void results to the NHS within 24 hours. This helps the NHS monitor the spread of the virus and continue to support communities across the UK. When you report your result, you will be provided with further information on the next steps to take. Remember, you've only completed your test once you've reported your result. To report your result, you need the QR code, you can scan this with your phone, or the ID number. Both can be found on the test cassette. The fastest way to report your result is by doing so online. If you live in England, Wales or Northern Ireland, visit www.gov.uk forward slash report dash COVID-19 dash result. If you live in Scotland, visit www.covidtest.scot or you can report by telephone. Please call 119. Place the test cassette along with the extraction tube, swab, and any remaining packaging waste into your general household waste. If you are testing more than one person or repeating a void test, rewash your hands between each test. Thank you for watching and don't forget to report your results.